one and all. Welcome back to our YouTube channel from Open Fan Innovation Lab, Bangalore. I am Divya, one of the managing partner of this firm. Before diving into the topic for the week, I wish you all a very happy Dasara. Before discussing what we are going to do today, can you identify this gentleman? These are the photos of the greatest minds and computer scientists who developed programming languages what we all use today worldwide. Topic for the week. Programming languages. Like, share and subscribe. We post new content every week on Fridays. What is a programming language? It is a set of instructions for computer to execute or to implement algorithms. The description of a programming language is usually split into two components. One, it is a form or a syntax and the others are meaning or semantics. Programming language theory is a branch of computer science that deals with the design, implementation, analysis, characterization and classification of formal languages. It is closely related to the field of mathematics, software engineering and linguistics. So what are all the components of programming language? It is a syntax, semantics, statements and variables. Syntax are grammar rules for defining legal statements. They are gradually built from the smaller things. Semantics, as I said, they hold the meaning. In simple words, what do they compute? Statements are instructions to mention what is to be done. This can be computation of values or decision making or repeat sequence of operations. Variables are the place to hold data in memory when program is running. Numbers, strings, images are some of the variables. Now we shall see the types of programming languages. One is object oriented programming language followed by logic programming language procedural programming language, functional programming language and scripting programming language. Now we shall see how do they differ. Object oriented programming language. As the name suggests, this programming model software design is around data or objects. The objects here are usually data fields with unique attributes and behavior. So what are all the building blocks of object oriented programming? They have classes. Classes are the blueprints for objects, attributes and methods. Methods, they define the behavior of the objects. They are functions defined in a class. Objects, they are instances of class which represents a real world entity. Attributes represent state of an object defined in a class template. Now we will see the principles of object oriented programming. They are encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. Coming to encapsulation, here all information is contained in an object and only certain information is exposed. It provides greater program security and avoids data corruption. Abstraction hides unnecessary implementation code and reveals only internal mechanisms that are relevant for the use of other objects. Inheritance where classes can reuse the code from other classes while still maintaining a unique hierarchy. Polymorphism allows different types of objects to pass through same interface. Objects can take on more than one form and share behaviors. Examples of object oriented programming are given here. These may be some of the programming language which are you are using on a daily basis. There are C Sharp, Visual Basic, C++, Scala, Ruby, Smalltalk and now more famous one Python. We will talk about logic programming language. It is a programming paradigm based on a formal logic. Program statements are expressed as fact and rule about the problems within a system. Since it is useful for knowledge representation, it is used by computer scientists to try to allow machines to reason. So what are all the features? Knowledge representation or expression is independent of implementation. So this makes programs flexible, 
compressed and understandable and special forms of knowledge are also supported machine architecture can be changed without changing underlying code or programs it can be used in non computational discipline relying on reasoning and precise means of expressions examples of logic programming language are prolog answer set programming and data log procedural programming language it is also called as imperative programming usually it has a well organized procedure or function or subroutine that computer must take to reach a desired state or output the examples of these kind of programming languages are c++ c java adobe cold fusion and pascal For functional programming language programs are constructed by applying and composing functions that specifically designed to handle symbolic computation and list processing applications what are all the features the design on the concept of mathematical functions that use recursion and conditional expression only function and function calls is used but not the control statements it supports higher order functions and lazy evaluation features what is higher order function in the sense a function that takes the function as an argument or returns a function lazy evaluation here what happens is there will be delay in the evaluation of an expression until its value is needed which also avoids repeated evaluation and it supports concepts such as abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism So what are all the programming languages that support this kind of functional programming there are Haskell Scala JavaScript Python Erlang Lisp Racket and OCaml I'm sure majority of you might not have heard certain programming languages here but they do exist or majority of you might be using on your daily purpose Here comes the scripting programming language here the instructions are written for a runtime environment they don't require compilation scripting languages are typically converted into machine code on the fly during runtime by program called an interpreter scripting languages like javascript are often used to facilitate enhanced feature of website here comes the scripting programming language here the instructions are written for a runtime environment they don't require compile so after seeing the video there are many programming languages which has lot of features so what is your favorite programming language or what is the language you want to create let me know in the comments below like share and subscribe we post new content every week on friday see you next week